Hey, 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 it's Adele from Let's Get Inky and I've got something a bit different today. So this is a nice little quote that I found over on Pinterest and I decided to script write it just freehand, just going for it. Not, I haven't planned it out. I haven't um, traced where I want it to be first. I'm just going for it. It was one of those days where I just felt like letting go and just doing something arty. So this book, let's be honest, the paper is rubbish. Um, it is, it's a new project that I'm working on. Not that I need more projects because guys, I have too many projects, but yeah, I think that's a creative's issue is that we see things and we're like, ooh, pretty, let's try that. Um, so what I'm doing here is I've got this really, really thick uh, journal and it's just a cheapy one from my local $2 shop and the paper is just shocking it kind of feels like really rough butcher's paper it's not pleasant but the stubborn person within me thought I'm gonna do it anyway uh, so some of the lettering has like feathering in it but it's I, I, I quite like it uh, this is a new thing that I'm working on it's called a glue book and I'll have a full video of the inside of this book over on my Patreon, I think next month, I think that is, or this month. No, it's this month, at the end of this month. Uh, and it's just a, a new little thing I'm working in. I'm using my Winsor & Newton watercolors, which I freaking love. And I'm also using this water brush. Now, where did I get this water brush from? It came with something. I think it came in a pack. It's got a very thin tip. To be honest with you, I don't do my brush lettering with a paintbrush. I usually you use um, either my Copic uh, brush pen, brush marker. I think it's a Copic uh, fine liner, multi liner in the brush medium. That's my favorite one. And I, or I just use a simple 0.1 felt tip pen and then um, accentuate out the the thicker bits but I've been watching a lot of Amy Tan and I freaking love Amy Tan and she does her brush script with a water brush and I wanted to give it a try so I did like it this water brush was a lot nicer than the other one that I have I've tried it once before to do script writing with a water brush and I didn't like it at all and I think that's because I had a bit of a crappy aqua brush that I was working with uh, so this one was a lot nicer I, I think it just came in a pack with something though I'm not quite sure I'll have a look at it and see if I do know what it is I'll make sure that I put it in the video uh, and I decided to go for a bit of a ombre kind of look from the blues to the purples but stupidly I started with the dark blue not the light blue but we're just rolling with it today peeps we're just rolling with it so I would like to do a mini class on lettering so stay tuned for that I'm currently if you don't follow me on my main channel Inky Quill you might not know my vlog channel Mr and Mrs Rad because I have too many channels um, we are in the process of moving so I, my craft space is half packed up. Um, we're moving in a few weeks. And so I'm pre-recording some videos so that you still have stuff while I'm moving. And I'm hoping in, um, in the new house, I'll have a craft, well, I will, I'll have a craft room because I have a little five month old and he's getting close to crawling and my stuff is not baby proof so it's going to be much better to have a big craft room um, where I can baby gate it lock it and not have to worry about him getting into all of my beautiful paints and sprays and mists and paper and all of those things uh, so stay tuned I will be doing a new craft room slash studio tour uh, probably over on my main channel but I'll let you guys know when I do that it won't be for a couple of months but keep your eye out for that um, I really I really do like how this looked in the end I did toss up with doing a because I am a fan of the doodly leaf at the moment uh, it's something that I was slightly obsessed with and I didn't know whether to do a leaf like a leaf wreath or say that five times fast a leaf wreath uh, around the outside of this quote but I decided just to leave it maybe I'll do it on another 
page. Let me know if you do do brush script lettering or if it's something that you'd like to do. Um, would you be interested in a mini class? I'm just trying to work out how I learnt it because I kind of just taught myself and I'm trying to work out how to teach it. Um, this one I decided to do, I do a couple of different brush lettering type styles. This one's kind of my wonky brush script where I like to do the letters up and down and all over the place. Uh, and this is a great style for beginners because it doesn't matter if you do the letters kind of a bit smaller or bigger accidentally because it's the wonkiness of the style. <laughs> it's a great way to cover it up. Um, but yeah, let me know. This is something I haven't done on this channel before. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see some more brush script time lapses. I'd be happy. These videos are nice and quick to film as well. Uh, so with Archie around, I could definitely bust one of these out every month. Uh, with a different quote you could give me ideas for quotes if you'd like and I can brush script letter them I'm actually going to turn this into a printable for my patreons patrons sorry my patrons over on patreon uh, so if you follow me over there stay tuned for this it'll probably be in one of your October printables I've just got to work out the best way to scan it or photograph it and get it in there but yeah, I really enjoyed it. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see some more brush script lettering um, and give me ideas for some quotes and I'll see if I can get one done for November for you or October for you. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.